Hello and welcome. So here is an interesting scenario and a very unique requirement for some of you and I think I have the solution for you. So let's say you have your desktop PC here at this desk as I do here. I've got two monitors connected to my desktop PC. I've got lots of powerful capabilities here. I've got, I've got an RTX uh, 5070 in there as well for graphics use or excuse me a 5070 Ti. So I can do some you know pretty nice gaming uh, as well. I have my OLED monitor here and I have my other desktop monitor but I need to get this a desktop transported to another location let's say for example uh, over here on my other desk where I do most of my filming and my shooting uh, for my YouTube videos how can I do this well I've got a solution to you to, for you today from a company called TE smart and we're gonna be using something that's called an HDMI extender or rather a KVM extender over IP it's a very very unique solution and we're gonna talk about it in this video and let's get right into it so this is actually a multi-part solution. It consists of one device here. This is called the transmitter. So this is what you're going to connect your PC to. So on the rear, you'll connect a, a USB 3.0 cable for the USB connections for your mouse and other peripherals. And of course, you'll connect the Ethernet port here, which is going to transmit the HDMI signal uh, and the KVM signals over the Twisted Pair CAT 6A cable. So we're going to get this computer all the way over here. And this is going to be the receiver. So this guy, as you can see here, has the USB port. We can plug in our mouse here. We can plug in uh, other dongles for our keyboard and other peripherals. We also have a USB Type-C port up front here and three Type-A ports. We also have a power on switch here. This can actually remotely control and trigger a power signal to your desktop PC if you do install the supplied uh, jumper on your motherboard so that can actually function as well. And on the rear here, you can see here that the way these connections work, we have an Ethernet here for internet connection. We have then here the US, the UTP uh, Ethernet CAT 6A cable, which is going to actually transmit the uh, HDMI and the KVM signals. We have an HDMI connection for output to this particular monitor here. There's two, you know, uh, HDMI uh, connections possible. It can do HDMI 60 hertz, and even one of them can go up to HDMI 144 hertz pass through, so you can do lots of gaming at high refresh rates, and we'll demonstrate that just a little bit later. And then finally, we have just a power connector here. It's a uh, barrel pin power connector that kind of screws into the device, and it comes in this nicely packaged box here with this good branding so overall it's a very very simple setup but what it can actually achieve is actually quite powerful now I don't have the large enough room to demonstrate but this can potentially go up to you know 100 feet in terms of a cat 6a cable you're going to be able to get an un uh, undepleted or uh, you know uh, undiminished uh, signal here for two devices you know 4k 60 hertz over to another desktop session so you can have remotely basically this pc can be remotely controlled uh, from that desktop station there and we'll demonstrate that in just a moment and just a quick disclaimer here before we get into this review these devices were provided to me by te smart for review but despite that all of the opinions you'll hear in this video are entirely my own and you're hearing what i have experienced with this device using it for the last about 30 days or so and testing it in my local uh, you know setup and experience uh, and that said if you like any of the content that i review please click the like button click subscribe and click that notification bell so you're the first to know when there's new content available here and if you'd like to purchase any of the devices i review you can check the links in the description below i often include discount codes to help you save a little bit of money and if you want to support the channel a little bit further use the coffee link in the description below to give us a tip it's a small gesture but it goes a long way to help independent creators such as myself all right, so the way that this device actually works is by using uh, display link technology. So you do need to install the display link drivers here. If you head over to the TE Smart website, you can go over to their support page and download the drivers from there. And this is a, a technology that's been developed for many, many devices, docks, ports, hubs, things of that nature. And as you can see here, as soon as I've powered it on, I have a status LED here and I have a power LED. And now my display is actually functioning here as an extension of these two displays here. So if I open up the control panel, and if we head over to our displays control panel now, you can see here that we're showing three active displays. This is done by display link technology. And if you use the display link manager, which is another app you can use to control, you'll see here that it shows uh, this device as a pluggable UD underscore 6950H, which is the uh, you know KVM extender that we've got here from TE Smart. So this guy is actually being shown here through the display link manager as the pluggable UD 690, 690, 6950 
58, excuse me. And it shows here that it's giving us a 1440p resolution display, which is the monitor I have here on my other desk on this side over here. So you can see that it's actually showing the display. Now, in order to use the mouse, I can of course use the original mouse and keyboard that's connected here with this particular PC, but that is not our intent. We want to be able to use this readily with uh, our other system as a remote desktop tool. So what I'm gonna do next is to disconnect this keyboard connect that mouse that I have over there and we'll show you that this works as a fully functioning controllable PC. So now to reliably demonstrate this, I've actually disconnected this monitor simply because I don't have four monitors to show the full pairing on both ends here, but I'm gonna use this monitor. I've got it set into mirroring mode here. So this display will be mirrored exactly on my other display over the KVM extender switch. So if we head over here to our other desk, we see here now that this split display is activated and you can see I've connected my keyboard and a mouse here so I can actually control and operate this PC from here. So let's see that how this actually functions. Uh, as you can see here from the display, my mouse is working, my keyboard here is working, so I'm actually able to uh, activate this PC from here. And of course, you know, you can see here that the uh, the display link manager here is showing us that we have this uh, device connected. That is the dock itself, the KVM extender. And we have this monitor here connected to the dock. Uh, and then uh, we have, this is my original monitor that's connected to that PC over there. So let's close out a lot of this, you know, marketing stuff here so we can actually get to the point. So what we'll do next is show you that because this device is actually capable of 4K to 144 hertz in terms of the pass through, we're gonna launch a game here, fire up a game, show you that in Borderlands 4, for example, we can get, you know, high refresh gaming done over that HDMI transport using this KVM extender at quite a distance. So as you can see here, this is my desktop PC connected to this monitor. We've now launched Borderlands 4. So this is running here roughly at about 200 and what, 80, 70, 80, 90 frames per second. So we're getting some pretty good rates here on the 5070 Ti. If we hop over to our KVM extender and to our external display here that's connected at a distance over only, uh, you know, a, a six Cat 6A Ethernet cable at you know, 100 megabits per second, we got here a lossless technology. So this TE Smart KVM extender device will give you lossless HDMI at up to 4K, 144 hertz on your display. That means you're gonna be able to do some serious gaming. You can see here that even on this display, we're getting very close to the same figure. We're seeing about 270, 280, 290, you know, so we're not actually losing any fidelity in terms of the actual frame rates that is being produced on the actual GPU itself. So if you combine this here with the keyboard and external mouse, we basically have a remote gaming station anywhere in the house and our gaming PC, you know, with a 5080, 5090, whatever it is that you have, just, you know, your beastly uh, gaming PC can be tucked away in a closet or a cabinet kept absolutely silent and you can transport this data over uh, you know a cat 6a cable uh, to your kvm extender and game pretty much anywhere in the house so this is actually a pretty fantastic setup now there is an audio connection available here on the back there is a port for an audio speakers input uh, connection here i have not connected that to speakers but you can do that so you'll actually be able to enjoy the audio as well so you'll get you know all four kit keyboard uh, video, mouse, as well as audio patch through here on the CAT 6A cable. It's gonna be a fantastic experience for gaming. And there's a very, very unique you know, device that's going to really change the way you interact with your PC, I think inevitably. All right, and one other nice feature here that this doesn't just work in Windows because this is a technology that's independent of uh, an operating system. This can actually work across a multitude of operating system here. So with this device connected, you can see I'm running Kubuntu. So uh, you do have to go through a little bit of a song and dance to install the display link drivers. You may even need to enroll the mock key into your bio. So you'll need to set up a, uh, a password and kind of uh, uh, reboot a couple of times so you can enroll the mod key and then that will allow if you have safe safe boot enabled those third-party drivers to be installed on kubuntu once that is done however you can see here voila that i've got now a kvm extender and i've got my pc my uh, Linux PC also available across uh, you know a distance here, so I can actually do remote uh, you know computing using this device, and I can actually use multiple operating systems. This is such a fantastic device and such a fantastic setup. I knew that this technology existed, I had never really gotten my hands on it. So, to needless to say, I am way more than impressed 
and the fact that this can actually do high refresh rate gaming as well it really is going to change the way i set up my studio i'm going to actually take my desktop pc my editing pc and i'm going to move it into a closet into storage so i have here just a very nice clean and absolutely silent studio here i know lots to think about how about how i set up my studio and more importantly how i engage and how i interact with my computing devices than i've thought about before so if you're into that sort of thing this is going to be a fantastic device for you uh you know, that's really all i have to say here if you really enjoyed the content please let me know in the description in the comments below and what you think of this device if you're if you've been interested in this type of a setup and if you'd like me to bring you more interesting devices like this and you know uh, basically ability to set up your uh, office environment however you like uh, a very big thanks to te smart for sending this out you know i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you liked it please click the like button click subscribe and click that notification bell so you're the first to know when there's new content available here and of course if you like any of the content that i review you can check out the links in the description below i often include links with discount codes to help you save a little bit of money and of course if you want to help to support the channel a little bit further you can click on the coffee link below to give us a tip it's a small gesture but it goes a long way to help independent creators such as myself thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video